हेलो एवरी बारी विशिंग यू ऑल हैप्पी हैप्पी वुमेंस डे आई हैव नॉट गॉन लाइव इन लिटिल वाइल एंड आई एम गोइंग लाइव सो माई टीम इज वंडरिंग वॉज दैल आर वी डूइंग सो आई हैव एन गॉन गिविंग वन सेकेंड वॉट दैट इज लाइव सो आई एम यूजिंग वन ऑफ माई टीम मेट्स फोन सो ही इज ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट इफ इट्स इवन गोइंग लाइव ऑन ऑन हिज फोन सो वेल आई नो दैट माई मेट्स विच इज ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट सो यू नो आई नोट इज अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल डूइंग लाइव वीडियोज विद सो मेनी हे कप्स इन सो मेनी रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन ऑफ वाई वन शूड डू वॉट एंड वॉट एंड वी थॉ वील जस्ट डू इट कैजल वी जस्ट कीप इट सिंपल आई जस्ट केम बैक फ्रॉम माई गोवा वर्कशॉप एंड आई रियलाइज इज वुमेंस डे ऑलरेडी वाइल वी वुमेन डू नॉट नीड a reason to um celebrate women's day um i think it is it is just about feeling or you know remembering about how empowered we are or how important it is to go uh, to go around and say how much we have achieved in such a little while um i'm not a big fan of um, of uh, people standing there and people saying uh, um women um are helpless or women don't have uh, abc or women cannot do so many things because it's not the same anymore we have done so much in our life and we've achieved so much in our life so i'm going to spend about a few minutes here um i want to actually just open it up to you guys if you guys have anything to ask me because i do not really go live too often and it's been a very very long time uh, since things have happened um i'm saying hi to tasif i'm saying hi to vignesh i'm saying hi hi to uh, um ashish uh, yes of course i remember you yeah it's been so long and uh, i haven't spoken to you mr lawyer but it's been a very long time i have uh, vignesh shank who says happy women's day uh, hi vignesh happy women's day to you too uh, and the people around you so because i still don't believe that um uh, you know women's day is restricted to one person or it's restricted to uh, a certain uh, achievement in that category i actually uh, feel that it is a celebration of being able to take charge it is a celebration of being able to do something that the world does not think possible you know when i started off doing what i was doing um it uh, it it always uh, dawned upon me how people said that uh, because you're a woman it's going to get hard because you're a woman you'll have to uh, be aware of so many things and um, i always thought that that's not true because it would actually come pretty easy to a lot of women wouldn't it but then little did i know that in a space of physical strength they did not mean it from a space of mental strength but they meant it from a space that our society is designed in a way where um when it comes in, they actually fight i really 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 want to tell you guys that when i started off being an entrepreneur um in my head I, it was not a war against men it was not a men can do it and women can't do it it was never that um however it was always a question about um, can we uh, fight off the uh the discriminations are not very obvious you know which i only came to know over a period of time which i only came to know um as in how i grew in my space and did i have to face a lot of challenges i really had to face immense amount of challenges um challenges of being a woman challenges of age challenges of getting somebody out there to really listen to you well all of you know that i'm in the space of speaking and i work with people to understand what their potential is i work with people in getting them to see what they can truly do i work in the space of getting people to understand that you are truly living about just 5% of your true potential if you only let yourself dream big you will understand that you will unleash all that power and you will be able to move on the path of being an entrepreneur that you want to okay um so here we have if a person meets with failures even after a lot of effort how should the approach be so vignesh asks me that if a person meets with a lot of failure even after a lot of um, effort um so vignesh i want to tell you this that i want to tell you from my personal experience so before that again i'm going to say hi to a lot of you guys that suresh uh, and um, shaker um and people anna and david and kalp and all of you guys uh, um, thank you so much for all this come back to vignesh's question vignesh um, let's understand one thing failures is something that you and i we will have to go through there's absolutely no option of uh, that being eliminated in our life there is no option of that not happening in our life there is no option of uh, that um, 
that disappearing because failure is a part of who we are failure is a part of us growing failure is a part of uh, uh, of what we experience in our life but failures are temporary failures are not something that you can avoid but my challenge with people is that they think that success is temporary and failure is permanent and that's not true that's not true at all um as much as success comes into our life and goes so does failures and every time you fall every time you uh, you trip i want you to understand that you have put in the effort which speaks a lot because i know of a lot of people who are not even willing to put in the effort who are not even willing to try a lot of things who are not even willing to say that you know um in my life i am interested in uh giving this a shot because i deserve it because it's my dream because this is what i'm supposed to do and you meet a lot of people walking around in your life who are constantly telling you why you should not even attempt that one dream that you have because they are too scared to attempt the dream that they have and don't get swayed away by things like that understand that your life is is uh, an outcome of the decisions and the choices that you make so every time you fall ask yourself what did you do different this time and what can you do different in the future because failure like i'm saying again is something you can't control however not to repeat the same things is where the intelligence lies not to repeat the same mistakes not to repeat the same pattern not to um, repeat the same carelessness is where the intelligence lies and when somebody manages to understand that there is no ways one is not growing the fact that you've given it a shot itself ensures that you have moved into a much better space the fact that you giving it a shot itself ensures that you've come out stronger you have become much uh, more than who you were before you started off so my dear friend you fail i fail we all fail the very essence of celebrating womanhood today is because at some point women failed more often than they were given a chance and today's day is is designed and is celebrated to tell the women that listen i know the entire year you failed and today is the day i'm going to celebrate all the victories that you have so uh vignesh i'm going to ask you this tell me what is the action you have taken and um how often have you taken that action and the moment you answer that you will be able to figure out how many things you've done differently and and how much more you can do in your life so um that's 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 kind of it okay i'm going to view some more questions here um okay so i have a lot of people who've asked a lot of questions um a uh, um, nice speech okay not a speech but nevertheless thank you so much uh, someone tells me a happy women's day whoever has access but thank you so much for that too um i have a guy called vinay who says uh, rohini in time like today um is there a major difference between men and women i'm feeling going um so vinay um i don't think women are getting an upper hand having said that i think women are extremely empowered which is the truth they're extremely extremely empowered and if a woman puts her mind to something she is going to go out there and get it but so are men yeah there is no discrimination as such the discrimination comes in when we talk about uh, you know we talk about leadership and the roles in leadership the discrimination comes in when we talk about uh, the work life balance the discrimination comes in when we talk that a woman will not be able to pull off a, a few roles in her corporate space or cannot do a certain business because of abc reasons and the discrimination is there and i think the fight is not so much as uh, uh, men versus women the fight is more about uh, well men can do it but so can women so look at the fact that uh, there is so much more a woman can do if you only give her the chance today women have proven themselves in so many ways and in so many areas and um, again i'm just telling this out of my experience that um, for every 10 men out there doing a job there are only two women doing the same job not because they're capable or not capable but because the society gives them that that little a chance that little an opportunity to prove themselves and i'm just going to say that um, give them a fair chance and you'll be surprised as to how well they can do and i think this whole celebration is more for that yeah okay i have uh, pavan here pavan hi uh, he says why is there no men's day um i think pavan there is no men's day because um, every single day is pretty much celebrated as a men's day every single day is spoken about the achievements that men have done and uh, the the way they've conquered the whole world and the way they managed to step out there and uh, make the territory their own and um, 
I think men are strong enough to uh, put a day for them and celebrate it. And like I was just telling someone, I don't think this is more a conversation of a man versus a woman, but it is a conversation about the celebration of uh, how much a woman has managed to do despite the fact that she has to take care of her home, she has to take care of her kids, she has to make decisions that are hard, she has to help balance things because women are more emotional. I said that to be able to um, come out of that comfort zone and be able to do it despite the afflictions, uh, which comes a little more easily to men. Um, I think um, everyone on this uh, planet deserves um, uh, a day dedicated to her. And uh, also every woman who supported you through your tough times, who supported you to be who you are, deserves a day to be celebrated. So that's, that's kind of it. I'm going to take a few more questions. Guys, if you'll have questions, then just ask. I haven't uh, come online to answer any questions. I'm thinking of doing this a little more often. It's actually fun. So if you guys have any questions, just ask. Okay, I have a lot of people waving and um, I have um, uh, Rakbuk. I don't know what your full name is. Do you see help? Uh, shout out. Shout tell me what you and if there's something that I can do, I'd be very happy to do that. Um, so a lot of people have joined in. A lot of people are saying hello. Uh, we have uh, Akash. Akash says how to handle the work pressure and what to do when it comes to that only thing you can think at that time is I had enough of it. Okay, well I can't understand the second part of it. Um, I'm going to give it a shot about uh, answering the first part of it. How to handle the work pressure. Akash, I meet you and every time I meet people, I am uh, constantly having this conversation where everybody says, you know, there's so much of work pressure, there's so much of work pressure, I cannot handle the work pressure. Have you ever stopped to think, why is there so much of work pressure? Why do you feel like every single second of what you are doing, you are constantly um, uh, being pressurized where you cannot think of anything else? Well, one of the reasons where what I have noticed where people find constant work pressure is because they forget to understand that work is a part of your life. Work is not everything. And this is something I say vocally to every single one of you out there. Work is not your entire life. Work is a part of your life. Okay, I'm going to... Yeah. Um, work is a part of your life. Now, why do I say this often? Have you ever gone around and asked people that, you know what, why don't you come take a holiday with me? And the moment you say, why don't you take a holiday with me? They think that, okay, I cannot take a holiday because my entire work is going to stop if I take a holiday. And when I sit and I think about this, where did this thought come from? Where did uh, people think that their entire work, their entire office is going to come to a standstill if they take one holiday? It's because in their head, in your head, you think you are indispensable. You think your entire work is on your head. And one day that you don't turn up, everything is going to collapse or stop or or, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's just going to become really, really hard. And I'm going to ask you to pause and to understand that why so, uh, does all of this pressure come from the work that you are doing or a lot of this pressure comes from the way you are thinking. The fact that if you're thinking that, you know what, every single day I need to go out there, I need to start working from 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and close, go home, be exhausted, throw my bag, hit the sack, say, oh my God, what a long day I've had and then go all the way through the night thinking I'm dreading going to work the next day pick your bag the next day, go back to work, do 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, again drag your bag. Well, that's not how life is supposed to be. A lot of things can be done with ease, a lot of things can be done with your feet popped up, a lot of things can be done when you start enjoying it. And you will be able to handle your work pressure when you start enjoying your work, when you understand that work is a part of your life, work is contributing to your life. Your life is not here because you need to finish that whole framework of your work. Your work is a part of your life and your work is contributing to your life. So enjoy what you do and understand that how can I be more relaxed? How can I breathe a little more? How can I enjoy the whole um, uh, creation that I have in front of me and then go about things? And when you start doing that, you will be able to balance things off much much easily because um, you will have work pressure, I will have work pressure, all of us will. It's not the work pressure that's crazy, it's how we handle that pressure that's what makes the entire journey more exciting. So Akash, do that and let me know um, how you feel, let me know how you've handled it and I would love to uh, hear back from you and um, I would love to understand um, how else can I help you. 
So I have Usha here. Usha, hi, happy Women's Day. Um, so Usha here says, ma'am, I feel so down and not interested in anything as I am dressed with Everything that puts you down is depression. Everything that hits you is depression. Every time you are low is depression. Every time people use that word, I actually have a challenge with that. I am not saying people are not depressed. I am not saying that it is not a symptom that people experience. But I am saying using the word so loosely, using the word so lightly, is a question on your own strength. Are you actually that depressed? Are you actually I that because that says I intend to be. I intend to tell each one of you here that your life is a gift. Your life is something that you need. To life is something that you need to be happy about. Every time you say that you are depressed, I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and question yourself about this. That are you that weak that you need to use the word depression every time you are low? I believe in your strength. I believe in my strength. I believe that every time I've had ups and downs in my life, I've pulled my socks up and I've not said that I have hit depression. I've said that there's a low in life and I know that I have enough weapon in my arsenal. I know I have enough, uh, enough uh, capacity to be able to handle this, to be able to figure things out. And Usha, if you've lost a job, darling, I'm sure that you have enough skills. I'm sure you have enough contacts. I I'm sure you have enough courage to go ask people and tell them what are you good at. Go ahead around speak to people ask them what you are good at today using linkedin using monster using nokri anybody can get a job so it's not that hard it's about understanding that if you are going through a challenge how are you coping up with that challenge if you are going to say that you are depressed then i'm going to tell you that you have not really assessed your strength in its true form you need to pick your socks up you need to get out there and you need to go find yourself a job and you need to prove it to yourself that you are made up of so much more than this People go through crazy things in their life. They don't go walk around saying they're depressed because they've lost a job. A job, like I was just telling someone else, is a part of our life. You cannot trade off your life for a job that you have. I'm sure you're skilled enough. I'm sure you're capable of it. So go ahead and give it a shot and look for something. The, the, you know, do one thing. Pick up your phone. Go through your contacts. Pick up five contacts. Five people who you, who you believe will be capable of helping you out. Call them up, say, hey, wish me a very happy Women's Day. And uh, today I'm going to ask you a gift. I'm looking for a job and I'm good at A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I just want to uh, pass that CV around. Can you please float that CV around because I believe that you can help me out. Do this with five people, that's all. And then uh, feel the kind of power that you will experience. And that's how you take action and that's how you're going to get results. Getting a job is not hard, but sitting there and expecting it to happen is not going to happen. So give that a shot and let me know how that goes. Well, the rest of you, uh, everyone, thank you so much. Um, okay, I have Bhargavi. Happy Women's Day. Any suggestions for depression and anxiety patients taking medication? Okay, <clears throat> Bhargavi, hi. Happy Women's Day to you too. I was just talking about depression to someone. And um, if it's a medical, um, uh, if, it's, if, if, you are, um, if you are facing depression and if you are under medicine, I'm going to say that one of the best things to get over depression is um, get out there and get that body moving. It is a fact and it has been proven over and over again. Your body has an ability to cope in ways that you cannot imagine. Your body has an ability to take care of itself in ways that you cannot imagine. So even if you are on medication, go meet your friends, go, um, go out dancing, go work out, work out. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot harp more upon this work out give yourself an amazing time in that gym or in that box or uh, yoga or wherever it is get that body moving stretch your body work out because that is a proven 100 percent effective way of taking care of your body and uh, it's a it's a it's a great way to get over uh, the lethargy that uh, you feel because of all the medications that you're taking so go ahead and give that a shot right okay um I have a lot of people saying hi. I have a lot of people sending so much love. Thank you so much for all of that.
guys um uh, i really 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 appreciate all the love i really appreciate all the excitement i really appreciate all the support i could not in my wildest dream um imagine you guys giving me all of this love and you guys giving me all of the support and uh, i genuinely genuinely appreciate that it has not been an easy journey um anybody who knows me uh, looks at me like this really strong woman who can uh, do so many things well uh, just like everybody i had to give up a lot of things uh, to be where i am and uh, uh, it would not have been possible unless you guys would have stood there and supported me so every time you guys like one of the posts that we put up i get very excited every time you guys comment on one of the posts that i put up i get really excited because i really um, i i really um, know that i'm adding value and um, for that um, i'm really grateful yeah i really 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 am grateful so thank you so much for all of that and i genuinely want to appreciate and a lot of gratitude for all of that okay i'm going to move on and uh so here usha says thank you ma'am it's been one year i'm at home we'll do it for sure and i want to meet you i know the transformation you made with anna jerry ma'am anna is someone i absolutely love working with she's a fantastic person and the kind of transformation she's had has been amazing and the fact that anna someone's talking about you is brilliant it all it actually shows that i always say that i'm just a catalyst so if you have experienced something why are me is just the start but if someone else has experienced it through you then that's a real change and here someone's talking about uh, uh, the journey that you have gone through and uh, she's very excited about it so usha thank you so much i'm sure anna would be very very excited about uh, what you have to say um so uh, yes i will wait to hear from you and i look forward to meeting you guys please come to my seminar um it's happening in uh, uh we're going to indore uh, we're very excited about uh, going to indore so people on uh, people of indore i really look forward to seeing you guys it's kind of my uh, uh, my 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 roots are from there i'm from north so that's kind of where i come from and uh, i'm really excited about uh, being there uh, so we're going to be in indore we're going to be in hyderabad we're going to be in pune we're going to be in bangalore uh, we're going to be in a lot of places so do follow our page and i'd love to meet you guys and hear your stories um Okay I have um, someone else I have Mobin Khan here he says hi I work in an MNC for 10 years but still I'm afraid of speaking with others I think that I'm not so fluent in English and hence afraid to uh, talk please help Mobin the only way that I can help you is if you come and talk to me you are saying you are afraid of speaking how can anybody be afraid of speaking because speaking is not restricted to language speaking is not restricted to english or hindi or tamil or kannada or french german it's not restricted to that speaking is the ability to being able to express what you feel here and i'm sure that the more you do that the better it would get however um if you are scared of speaking i give everybody the same advice and i tell them that guys if you're scared of speaking then uh, face your fears and the only way of facing your fears is to uh, go out there and speak to as many people as you can so mobin i have a small task for you okay what i want you to do is i want you to go and speak to five strangers today five absolute strangers today go and say hi i am mobin khan and i am i have decided to overcome my fear this women's day and this is dedicated to all the women in my life and i want to just have a quick conversation with you so do that with five people and tell me how your experience goes tell me how your experience goes i promise you after the first or the second person this will become like a second nature this is not going to be something that you're going to find it hard this is not going to be something that you won't be able to do in fact you would by the third person you're going to think that ha uh-huh, okay this is not as hard as i thought it was it's actually very easy speak from your heart yeah whoever it is out there speak from your heart uh because i don't believe there's there's more power in anything that you say uh that does not uh, that that comes out of your heart that is there is there's nothing that's stronger so as long as you're speaking from the heart mobin it's going to be good you're going to do well and come to one of my events let me put you on a stage with about 300 400 people and um, we'll see how you fare cuz my money is on you i think you're going to be fantastic yeah so that's that okay all right i'm going to go ahead and answer a few more questions when is your event in hyderabad i think our event in hyderabad is on 17th of uh, this month so yeah next week in sunday i'm going to see you there uh, uh, godam uh, promote i'm going to see you in hyderabad okay so i have a lot of happy women's day coming in thank you so much everybody thank you so much for all the love i have a lot of people who joined in um how should i come in good mood where our friends break our trust well 
I always say that your emotions are controlled by you. If the weather is bad, can you say that, okay, I've had, I'm having a bad day because it's really hot um, or I'm having a bad day because it's really cold uh, or I'm having a bad day for whatever reasons, uh, well, that's external. And same thing goes with everybody else. If you want to be in a good mood, you can be in a good mood. I always say that if you want to be in a good mood, use your body to be in a good mood because every time you change uh, your state, every time you change the way uh, you, you move, every time you change the position that you are in. So for example, if I'm really low and I'm just going to be sitting there and I'm going to be sulking all the time, um, I am going to feel even more low. I am going to be in a bad mood. But if I decide to take charge of that and if I decide to change things, I'm going to get up and I'm going to stretch. I'm going to jump 10 times and believe me, it's going to have a direct impact on your mood. So uh, try that. It's not that hard. It's not, rough. It's not that hard. Um, and it's actually pretty easy. So uh, do that, promote, and uh, your mood's going to change like this and uh, you can be in a better mood. Yeah. Okay, so I have Ranju here. How can we empower and motivate the people around us to be positive? By leading with examples. Simple. If you want people around you to be excited, you gotta be excited. If you want people around you to be honest, you gotta be honest. If you want people around you to work hard, you've gotta work hard. If you want people do anything that you want you've got to lead by example don't just preach but actually practice please practice what you preach i mean a lot of people who always say i want to control someone outside and i'm saying you can't control anybody i can't control anybody you can't control anybody nobody in this world can control anybody the only person that you can control is you yourself so you get the right you're in the right and it's fantastic so try that yeah okay i have named and hi, ha. Um, a lot of love to you. Uh, that's my youngest sister. That's a lot of love. So I'm giving a lot of you guys also a lot of love. Um, so how to? Um, you know, everybody will If you're going to rejections personally, that is going to matter you. If you're going to understand that there is rejection, the skill is rejection. They are rejecting you for a Skill you need to improve for something that you need to build upon then that's a good thing it's it's almost like a, a, a feedback a critical feedback for you to grow. as long as you pick up on that rejection and as long as you work on that certain skill you need to understand that rejections are actually a blessing in disguise so use them for you to get better so that tomorrow nobody ever is going to put you down for the same thing they're actually going to look up to you and say wow i remember dinanath when he started off he was at X and today he's at Y. And the only reason he is is because he took that rejection positively and he moved ahead. Um, so give that a shot and um, let me know how it goes. Okay. Right. I have uh, Azaruddin here. And um, Azaruddin says, I could motivate others, but it doesn't work for me. Why? Well, Azaruddin, it's a million dollar question. And um, I say that... Um, uh, you could be one of the greatest brain surgeons in the world. You could be absolutely amazing at brain surgery. But when it comes to treating yourself, you're not going to go and do the surgery by yourself, right? You're not going to go and you're not going to uh, operate on yourself. That's because sometimes, uh, or not sometimes, often, we can see in others what they need, but we cannot see in others what... Um, uh, what uh, We can see in others what they need, but we cannot see in ourselves what we need. And... That's because we're very closely, uh, uh, you know, held up with the day-to-day -day lives and we're very closely, intricately uh, caught up in our day-to-day -day life. And because that happens, uh, we cannot motivate ourselves too often because we don't know what works for us. So find a coach, find a coach, find someone you're accountable for, find some for accountable to, find someone that you can absolutely not lie to, find someone who will push you to be an absolutely extraordinary version of yourself. Do that. I, I found a coach and I uh, my life changed when I found one. Uh, I coach a lot of people and I know that their life has changed because they've decided to work with me. And um, that's something I truly believe that uh, you need to find people who will push you to be a better version uh, because it's easy to motivate others not that easy to motivate ourselves because our brain finds a way to fool ourselves so do that yeah okay i have a dish here who says your old hairstyle is good madam well i don't have the old hairstyle rajesh i have uh, I, I i got this job for my birthday as one of my birthday rituals because i was really scared of letting go of my beautiful long locks and um, um 
I actually enjoy this. Makes you feel really powerful. <laughs> so it'll grow. Uh, but until then, I think this doesn't look that bad. Hmm? But yeah, I, I, I miss my long hair. So this time I'm going there. Uh, it'll take me probably another year, but I'll grow there. So yeah, that's how it is. Okay. Um, yes, it's true. Many got motivated talking to me. They say, that I am amazing but it won't work on me that's true that's true everybody get motivated talking to you but it's very hard to make it work on yourself so do that okay so Nath says thank you Nath. welcome absolutely welcome Achi Achi says happy women's day thank you so much a lot of you have joined okay someone says your hairstyle is like uh, Yani Gupta um, thank you so much I'll take that as a compliment there are only these many hairstyles one can do of course women have more choice and yay thanks for that <laughs> so yeah um, okay, Azruddin says, thank you, can you be my coach? I am a very tough coach, Azruddin. You should ask all the people who worked with me. I will not let them give up. I am on their backside all the time. They do not have an option to um, say no. So if you are ready to really take charge of your life, if you are ready to commit to living a life that is on a completely different uh, stage, if you are ready to push your boundaries, then come, let's work together. Because uh, when I commit to working with someone, I will not let you fail because your success is my success and your failure is my failure. I take that very personally and I don't like to fail. So you will not be able to fail. So if you're ready to do that, then let's work together. Okay, I have uh, Manik uh, B Bharati here. He says, how are you ma'am? I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. I hope you are doing amazing too. Um, okay, so Neha asks me, how do you manage your time? Um, well, uh, in reality, I actually have a lot of time. I have a lot of time on my hand. And I think it's just an illusion that we're not able to manage our time very effectively. Um, uh, of course, I have days which are really busy, but then I also remove enough time to take off for movies in between, to go and uh, spend time with my loved ones. Because I have learned something that all the fuel that I have, all the fuel that I have is constantly gotten from people who I love. So if I don't spend time with my loved ones if I don't spend time with my family with my friends with people around me I'm gonna lose all that fuel and I'm gonna sit here and pull my hair and say oh my god this is insane I'm going mad with all the work pressure I'm going mad with all the work I'm going mad with the constant deadlines and that is something the only way I'm able to deal with that is because I remove enough time one thing that I really follow and I make all the people around me follow is is be as is, is have schedules is um, uh, be a little more disciplined don't walk into work whenever you want to don't walk out of work whenever you want to follow those disciplines so that you know how to increase your productivity within that time that is there with you so if you are someone who likes to work from 9 to uh, 6 then ensure that the 9 to 6 is dedicated to your work please don't go around doing your uh, grocery shopping or your uh, uh, flight bookings or your holiday plannings around that time because if you do that then you will be doing your work around, at your personal time and that's something that most people suffer with is because they cannot balance things off which is something that you really must do dedicate your time uh, to the right things don't uh, slack in your productive hours and don't be productive in your low hours uh, don't work towards being productive in your low hours because they are your low hours so remove time for everything balance life I was very recently doing a session for a lot of my participants from across India and I was talking to them about the, the wheel of balance. It's very important to have a completely, completely balanced life. It's very important to have all the people around you being able to experience a certain side of you. That's very important. Whether it's a crazy uh, child within you, which everybody has. In fact, I meet so many people who are so busy trying to be so prim and prom. They're trying to be so busy uh, trying to just, uh, you know, um, uh, show this really serious side of them no people are going to judge but guys everybody's going to judge everybody's going to judge whether you do it right or you do it wrong people are going to judge and it doesn't matter it just doesn't matter so show this that childlike in you i know it takes a little time to get comfortable with people around you but but let people see the crazy lunatic side of you go crazy put your feet up and and uh, throw your hat in the air and let's just go crazy so let people see that and let people see the disciplined side of you because when it comes to work you need to be that let people see the the, the side of you that is vulnerable you need to bring that out and um, 
So many more things. Let people see different shades of you because uh, that's who you truly are. And if you're going to try and uh, uh, cover the other side up, you're going to spend a lot of time not living that kind of life. So for me, one of the biggest things of managing time is to uh, be a lot more disciplined, to use my time effectively, to use my time in a way that... Um, uh, that ensures that uh, I am do uh, I am doing what I have put my time aside for and doing it honestly, so that it gives me time to party later too. So that's that. Yeah. Okay. Do you think procrastination is is bad in this busy life? Absolutely yes. Procrastination is bad in any point in life. But again, the question is, what are you procrastinating? If you are procrastinating something that adds value to your life, it is bad. It is something that you must not do. Uh, do not procrastinate because uh, when you procrastinate once and twice and thrice and then it becomes a habit and then deadlines become the key to your life and which kind of deteriorates the life uh, line that we have because we're, we're pressurized so much. So don't procrastinate. Procrastination is not good at any age and any era. So that's that, uh, Dinaf. I hope I answered your question. Um, okay, happy Women's Day, my sweet wish for you. Thank you so much, Kanagu. I absolutely uh, appreciate the wish. There's uh, Shaija who says, hello. I'm saying hello. Because I'm going live on FB and Insta. So if you cannot see a couple of questions, that's just because it's on the other side. But um, um, that way I can just reach out to more people. Okay. Um, when is the event? Okay, I've already answered that. How do you turn around a bad day? I've answered that. How do you manage work pressure? I've answered that. Uh, you are extraordinary. Thank you so much. And so are you. Um, when are you coming to Hyderabad? 17th of March. Can you mention in one line, how can women feel motivated? Um, I'll, I'll answer that in uh, one action. Stand in front of your mirror. Look into your eyes and understand that there is no other person in this world who is like you. Look into your eyes and honestly, honestly count five things that you're fantastic at. When you do that, you will notice how extraordinary you are and you will notice the diamond that you are shine automatically. So do that, uh, Preeti, and uh, let me know how it goes. Um, okay, I love your programs. Thank you very much and I love having you guys there. I really, really, really do. Um, so I have a lot of people um, giving me a thumbs up. I'm a good client and I want to quit but I don't want him to define where I work because these people are everywhere. What do I do? Okay, so um, Neha says that I have a, a very rude client and I'm quit because of the rude client. Uh, but then I don't want that to define my life because rude people are going to be there everywhere. So um, um, Neha, what I always say uh, to people is that Might not the skill the same issue and facing it in different scenarios. So you can do it everywhere, understand that it's not, it's not directed towards you. And as long as you're able to uh, understand that bit of it, you will also react more logically and not get emotional about it. Okay, um, I have uh, Mubir saying nice motivational words, ma'am. Thank you so much. How to overcome laziness? <laughs> That's like a million dollar question here. Yeah? Um, if you're excited about something, you won't be lazy. That's the truth. If you're excited, you are kicked and thrilled about something you will not be lazy um, and if you still are then just uh, have someone that you are accountable to have someone who will ensure that uh, you will not uh, uh, give up give reasons when things don't happen or you will not go and slouch and get into your bed and come up with excuses so find someone who's your no excuse partner and you will be able to overcome laziness much better don't make them your friends or your wife or your husband because um, they will not hold you accountable because whether you make it or no they're still going to love you so you want someone who's going to be tough and who's going to ensure that you push your boundaries so that's something that'll happen okay 
choose a job you love and you never have to work a day in your life that's so true vignesh that's how my life is designed and that's how it is roni please share your thoughts um, on our laziness i just did uh excellent more beautiful thank you so much thank you for your advice uh, you guys have all given me a lot of love proud to have a woman like you thank you very very much for that failure in every step of life not settled in my career how to control anger count to 10 count backwards it actually works some advices are just magical so you don't need to reinvent them um so i have a lot of people saying good stuff hello ma'am happy women's day just wanted to know how to deal with anxiety breathe 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 and work out i keep saying that work out guys your body can do so much magic you have no idea so the more you work out the better it is so work out and let your body do its own magic i believe you will bring good change in many people's life keep going thank you so much nitin a uh, happy women's day great work uh, you still adding good value thank you very much you superb life is a little journey live life freely if i'm not wrong of course you're not because everybody has their own versions and i don't be pushing so it's amazing navin says i want to attend your session please do sharan says wishing you a happy women's day thank you very much so um um arti says you have changed my life thank you for being a mentor and a coach thank you so much arti a coach is only as good as uh, his or her mentees are you guys have been amazing you guys have given me a purpose to my life you guys have uh, applied everything that i've asked you guys to apply and you guys have just uh, uh, shined away up thank you very very much um, i am i am because you let me be who i am so it's a privilege for me to have worked with each one of you Give me some tips to be focused all the time. I get distracted frequently. Uh, break your uh, works into smaller chunks. Break them into smaller chunks of fifteen twenty minutes. Focus on them. Give yourself um, um, give yourself brownies every time you manage to complete something. So if you're someone who likes chocolates, keep pieces of chocolates there. And every time you finish the fifteen minutes twenty minutes of the task that you have, pick up the chocolate, eat, go back, finish your work. So give yourself brownies and cut your uh, put your work into smaller chunks. Yeah. So uh, do that. Um, um angs um parik i don't know what the first name is but parik do that and let me know how it goes okay so i was within would you please come in live every day for half an hour at least it will help people like me a lot i'm going to try as within i really am going to try i haven't come live in a while but maybe i'll do and um, ask me um, anything uh, soon and um, yeah i think i'm going to schedule that roni please suggest how to control anger i just told someone um, i i just did i said breathe someone uh, you'll find the answer if you just go back um so i have a lot of love coming in i have a lot of questions which i've already answered your words are magical can you describe value to our uh, can you describe value of our time when we deal with a customer who don't value our time well um guys i am going to end this conversation with that answer and uh, i'm going to tell you guys this that you know your life cannot be defined on how other people treat you your life cannot be defined on how someone else's mood is your life cannot be defined on how someone else is uh, is is abusing you or uh, putting you down no your life cannot be defined by any of this because the reality is that everybody faces that you face it i face it all of us face it we face rejections we face bad um tempers we face people being rude to us we face circumstances that are not in our control we face all of that but the beauty and the magic is that in these circumstances how do you handle yourself how do you hold yourself through how, whether you get emotional about it or you don't get emotional about it please understand that people are people they are going to be the way they are that is not what shapes your day or breaks your day it's your reaction to each one of this that shapes or breaks your day so as long as you manage to do that as long as you manage that you and your reaction is in your control even on a rainy day you can make the sun shine because if you believe it here it can happen out there so as long as you manage to do that you will understand that everything else is temporary the only thing permanent in your life is you your reaction your ability to make your day absolutely extraordinary so don't let other people define what kind of life you need to live as a woman i'm telling you this as a woman i'm telling you this I had a million times when I was put down I was walked over I uh, things were made hard for me they were made hard for me so I had an option where I could have just sat at home cried to my mom and said you know what I can't do this cuz this is hard I can't do this cuz people don't respect me I can't do this people don't trust me I can't do this people don't give me an opportunity I could have done all of that but I chose to be an entrepreneur I chose to uh, hold my fort is because I really believe that 
I am responsible and I am in charge of my destiny. I am in charge of my life. I am in charge of my year. I am in charge of my month. I am in charge of my day. I am in charge of this very second. I am in charge of it. So while I have a lot of people who will, um, uh, you know, direct a lot of uh, hatred towards me, I want to focus on the love that you guys are directing towards me. And as long as that's happening, I am just going to be very vocal about it that I am grateful for the love that you are directing towards me. I don't want my life to be defined with things that I can't control. I want my life to be defined by these things that I. I know um, uh, points me in the right direction so I'm just saying that if I can do it you can do it trust me if I can do it anybody can do it so uh, go ahead and uh, don't let other people define your life you take charge of your life because you are in charge of it right okay so I have Deepthi here I know I said last question but I want to answer these Deepthi Rohini in circle of balance is it true that when your personal life becomes stronger then your professional life becomes better absolutely yes Deepthi, you are a live example here. You're a live example that uh, when I met you the first time, where you were versus where you are right now, personally, you have strengthened so much. You have, the, the person that you are today, the singer, the person who's doing these live concerts, the person who's getting your album out, the person who's doing events, the person, everybody wants to listen to being a playback singer. Everybody is, is excited about the kind of life that you are building. And all of that happened because your personal life got stronger, your circle of influence has gotten stronger, the kind of people in your life have gotten stronger and what's the beauty is you also believe in giving that back and as long as you're doing that, everything else is fantastic. So when your personal life gets stronger, which is your emotions, your professional life also gets stronger, this is the rule of the world, which is why I say that balance it off. Remember, don't ignore your personal life for money or for profession because work is a part of your life. You are who you are and work is because you are. So as long as you balance that off, everything is great okay so i have uh, shravanti can a woman start event management business without much money do you please suggest three main tips to become successful in the event management field my answer is yes a woman can start business in event management uh, uh, area not just that a woman can start a business in any area it is not gender specific at all so if you don't have too much money uh, that's perfectly okay you start small but start so the three things that i will tell you is that build a very strong network Please build a very strong network uh, because the more you talk about uh, uh, your work to people, the more uh, chances come up. The second tip I'm going to tell you is that be consistent in whatever you do. If you are building a brand out there, be consistent, right? Constantly do that. Don't do it today. Don't not, not do it for the next five days and then do it again. It's not going to help. And the third thing is leverage social media. I know so many people who are on Instagram, Facebook, just posting your pictures. Nobody cares about the likes that you get. No. Oh, people care about the opinion that you have people care about the life that you live people care about what they want what 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 you want to say to others leverage social media please leverage insta please leverage linkedin twitter facebook please leverage these things because it is zero cost and it's going to help you get visibility because visibility is the key for any business absolutely any business so uh, do that uh, shravanti and tell me how it goes megha my coach thank you so much megha it was a pleasure coaching you and I really look forward to seeing you shine so much more. You guys should listen to Megha's story. It's fantastic. Um, I have Kunal who says, ma'am, you're inspira uh, inspirational. Thank you so much, Kunal. Um, I have uh, Yunus. Happy Women's Day. You're doing an amazing job helping so many people. Good job. Thank you so much, Yunus. It's a pleasure working with you. You know that and I, I really enjoy um, reading so much about your stories and about your growth. Yeah. Um, and then I have, it's Ankit Parekh here from Pune. What is the best way to avoid the negative direction the circle of influence right uh, if you have right people around you you will ensure that there are no negative vibes around you that's something that is true so pick the right people around you and um, ensure that you add to their life positively and they add to your life positively right so um, that's that today folks i have people giving me deepthi i love you so much too thank you very much ma'am uh, do you know canada yes i know canada i am from bangalore so this is my place uh, so yes i i speak hindi canada tamil english um, and uh, i think that's all i speak only four languages i don't know if there's a fifth one i'll let you know Okay, guys. Um, thank you very, very much. I've had like I've I've, I've had like more than um, uh, about a hundred people today here and here, and it's been amazing uh, speaking with you guys. It's been amazing sharing uh, my journey. Um, when you look at me. Um, 
look at my journey i hope it inspires you i am who i am and it's really that i want to be true to myself and i when i want to i put my feet up and become the small girl and when i want to i'm this independent strong powerful woman and i've realized that all of this happens because i choose for it to happen so um, when you see someone understand that everybody has a small girl in them everybody has a strong woman in them everybody has this fierce fighter in them and uh, i wish for each one of you to explore that today i wish for each one of you to uh, find that out uh, in you today and uh, I I totally enjoyed uh, speaking to you guys. It's been an hour since I'm talking to you people. Whoa. Okay, time really flies. I actually thought I'm going to do this live for about 15 minutes. My throat is kind of acting crazy cuz I just finished an intensive in Goa and we had the most amazing people come from all across India and um my throat's kind of been a little crazy ever since uh having said that i thought this is going to be hard but it's actually fun um guys i'm going to look forward to seeing you guys at one of my seminars and i hope i can add value to each one of you thank you very much for all the wishes uh, wishing each woman out there a very happy women's day may you shine bright may all your troubles disappear remember this day is dedicated to you for a reason it's dedicated to you because you are strong because you are powerful because you are more than what you believe for yourself to be and all the men out there Well it's a women's day so pick up a flower pick up a pick up a bouquet pick up a card and go give it to that woman in your life who you know has worked really 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 hard do that for somebody and you will watch that woman um well up with tears because not because she's weak but because she's touched by the gesture and she appreciates that you appreciate the hard work that she's put into your life so all the women stay strong all the men make your women stronger by giving them the wings that sometimes they need you to give yeah uh the rest of you thank you very very much thank you very much guys it was fantastic speaking to all of you i'm going to look forward to seeing you guys again if you guys have any questions just post it down i will find a way to answer until i see you guys the next time have an amazing day take care love you guys bye bye